Hey y'all, Chef Irix Sky here, back again with another Blackstone cooking video. Now today I'm going to do steak teriyaki. You can do it a bunch of different ways, but I'm going to keep it really simple. Yes, I am standing on the back side of the Blackstone, but that's because I just want to. I'm cool like that. You can see this. You can see the mountains. So we're going to talk about a few things first. I have my special seasoning. Check out my subscribe and check out my separate video. This is an Asian seasoning, and, and I mixed it up a lot better than buying it off the shelf. I've got some uh, soy sauce, just the cheap soy sauce. You can go low sodium, you can go regular, whatever you want to do. I just want regular. And then I've got some teriyaki, see, uh, some teriyaki sauce. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get these things on the, on the Blackstone here. I've got, uh, now see, this is where it gets problematic <laughs> when you're standing on the back side of it. But... Uh, yeah, we're just going to get, I did not marinate the steaks because, you know, for this, I don't, you know, I don't really need to. You may, if you do, comment below and tell me why you do. So I'm just going to throw these suckers on here, not marinated. Again, you could marinate them if you chose to do so. Keep this other one off for a while because it's going to be a... Uh, a uh, lesser done steak but what I'll do is you know these suckers are on here I'm going to spritz a little bit of soy sauce on them and then again my special seasoning obviously it's a dry seasoning as you can tell but it's an Asian inspired seasoning check out my separate video where I show you everything that's in it but this gives it that really authentic Asian flavor. You know, I grill all kinds of steaks. If you've been a subscriber for a while, you've probably seen a lot of Chef Irish guys cooking videos, but you know, Japanese food I love, and I'm not Japanese, but I mean, you don't have to be Japanese to, to cook Japanese food, just like a barbecue. You don't have to be, um, for barbecue, <laughs> you don't have to be a hillbilly. To know how to cook barbecue I mean it's it's uh, just knowing processes man let's put this over one thing I love about the Blackstone if you've never cooked on a Blackstone you just get that amazing sear that cast iron sear on the outside of whatever you're cooking it is so good just really adds to the uh, to the visual effect of the food, I mean, you can you can take your food to the next, uh, definitely to the next level presentation-wise by cooking on cast iron. And I mean, what better way to do it than to be outdoors with a blackstone and uh, you know cooking this outside? So much more exciting than using a a cast iron skillet indoors. Man, just look at that! Oh yeah. Oh man, that looks so good. I am I am so hungry. I'm so hungry. Now, this I'm just focusing on the steak itself. Now for a complete spread, you know, you're gonna want to get uh, you're gonna want to get some vegetables, probably some rice. But I'm just gonna focus on this steak, man. Look at that. Man, that is looking really good. Now this is New York strip. Obviously, you could use whatever cut. Um, you know, certain cuts at the time of filming this video, like ribeyes. I love ribeye. Man, ribeye is expensive. So, you know, I've been experimenting with other cuts of steak. I really like sirloin. And, uh, you know, New York Strip is it's okay. It's not my favorite. I got it just because it was the best deal this go around. So, why not, you know? Oh, man, look at that. Spritz a little bit more soy sauce on this again I didn't marinate these but you know you may want to you may want to marinate oh man it smells so good mmm These are going to be well done. The other one's going to be medium. So, i going to do the well done ones on this.
Oh man, that good presentation on the outside there, yes, so good. Now something I'm going to do within this video, and you know some people may argue with me, but I'm actually going to cut this steak. And the reason is, is that I'm going to cut it so I can kind of really, you know, I'm getting this good, I don't want to call it a bark, because we're not barbecuing here, but uh, just that good firm texture on the outside, that good sear. I want to get that first, but then I'm going to slice into these, and we're going to really make some, uh, you know, make some teriyaki magic, man. I mean, this is going to be, this is going to be phenomenal. And again, these are, what, these are going to be well done, so I'm... I'm reiterating that. You're probably like, man, you're burning that steak, dude. Well, people want it well done. That's how I do it. So these are well done. That one's going to be medium. It's just how it goes, man. Oh, yeah. Got that good, my little Asian seasoning mix right here, man. You can just really see it on the outside of the meat. That just... Further enhances the flavor. Again, you never want to overpower the natural flavor of meat, but when you're doing something like this, obviously this is an Asian-inspired steak. You know, you want to taste like you're you're eating over there in Asia, which we're not. We're in the Appalachian Mountains in Appalachia, but they both start with A: Appalachia, Asia, A S I A. A P P A L A C H I A. Appalachia and Asia. There's Appalachia and Asia. There's your spelling bee for the day. So, yeah. Oh man, I just I'm going seasoning crazy, but dude, this just having this just kind of burnt in on the you know the crust. That's the word I was thinking of earlier. The crust. Having this part of that crust is is incredible. If you could only smell this, I mean this I haven't figured out in a YouTube video yet how to how to add smell, but I'm sure once that's figured out that's gonna take cooking videos like these to the next level. Now see me standing on the back side of the blackstone makes that kind of stuff problematic. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna get a knife a knife, a knife. And how do you spell knife? K-N-I-F-E. That's right, so I got a knife and a fork. I probably need a proper chef knife. Hey, if you want a super chat, feel free to super chat or super thanks. Help support the channel and help support tools that I need. Yeah, I'm cutting into this. This ought to already be... Oh yeah, it's it's already getting there. So I'm just going to cut it kind of into strips because what we're going to do is cook it. We're going to start cooking it in with some uh, with some teriyaki seasoning. Strip steak. If you if you're big into steak, strip steaks typically, as far as flavors concerned, a lot of people like New York strip. I got these again because it was the best deal, but. It's, it's a firmer, I felt it was appropriate for teriyaki because, you know, with a, with a ribeye or a, uh, or even a sirloin, you know, I'm not going to season the heck out of it. So, you know, New York strips, kind of a, kind of a firmer, uh, flavors don't penetrate it as much. So it's, it's a good candidate for, you know, something really saucy like we're about to do here. Something really saucy. S A U C Y. Saucy. I didn't know y'all were going to get a spelling lesson today. Yeah, I need a proper chef knife. But look at that, man. Mmm. I'm getting excited.
Another question for you. Should you cut directly on the blackstone? What do y'all think? Am I doing something wrong by doing that? I've heard both both ways. Y'all tell me. Yeah, it's going to get really exciting here, y'all, when I start start tossing this in the sauce. And again, I'll reiterate over and over, this is going to be a well-done steak. How bad is that? I mean, I'm not even using a chef's knife. I'm just using a little steak knife. Oh, this looks so good. I see now we're really going to get we're going to penetrate this with Asian flavor because, well, it's cut up. And that's when these two spatulas are really going to come into play, man, because we be tossing this stuff around like a, like a hibachi chef. Okay, there's that. Put these things out of the way here. A little bit of soy sauce here, nothing wrong with that. Soy sauce. Do some more Asian seasoning. Now that I've cut it up. And by the way, in case you're wondering, I. I didn't do a lot of, uh, in my Asian seasoning mix, I didn't do a lot of sodium because obviously soy sauce has, traditional soy sauce has a ton of sodium in it. See now we can kind of stir this around here. Oh man. Now I could use my melting dome, or I can do this if you want to accelerate the uh, the cooking. Because again, I've said it over and over, this is going to be well done. But you could do this. You could get the, uh, I've got like a bacon press, a cast iron press that I use for bacon. I, I didn't get that out tonight, but uh, typically I'll use that. But just using these two spatulas, that's a technique that... Uh, that you may not have been aware of, especially if you're new to uh, cooking on a blackstone griddle. But man, we're just getting all of this flavor in here. And we haven't even started with the teriyaki yet. I want to make sure make sure I've got this to the doneness that's, that's requested. So oh man.
one second. I'm going to check something. I'm going to check one piece here. Oh, man. Mmm. Mmm. I see I've already got the Asian flavor. So now we're going to take it to the to the teriyaki, man. Oh, again, expand this video's description and click the link there to find everything like I'm using, including the uh, including the blackstone and the spatulas and all that and the seasoning. Oh man. Mm. Now we got teriyaki, y'all. Oh yeah. Mm. We have proper teriyaki. And again, this is well done. So, you know, everybody out there like, man, you're overcooking that. No, that was a request. Well done. That's going to be medium, the one I got right there. Mmm. Mmm. The raccoons are coming out. Hey, George Cooney. Subscribe and check out my raccoon videos playlist, too. Mmm. It's right below the well done. That's how I would eat it where it is now. But oh man. I mean it's it's so close. <clears throat> so by the time I get the dish to serve it on, it's going to be ready. I mean, it's going to be well done. That's, that's perfect, man, for well done. Subscribe, ring that bell when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Expand this video's description and click the links there to find all the equipment like I use. Also, check out my Blackstone videos playlist and my Raccoon videos playlist, too. Thanks for your viewership, and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Irix Guy here. I hope you enjoyed this video and please be sure to subscribe to my channel and when you do, ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video.
Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.